On this episode of China Uncensored, gun control? To the Chinese regime, that means using both hands. To give guns to some of the world's worst violators of human rights. Welcome back to China Uncensored, I'm Chris Chappell. Check out these guns. Sorry, these guns. They're part of the $22 million worth of guns and ammunition the Chinese regime has just donated to the Philippines. The donation includes 3,000 assault rifles, 3 million rounds of assorted ammunition, and 30 sniper scopes. Look at those happy faces. You can almost hear them going pew, pew, pew. Though it is less funny when you consider that the president of the Philippines has bragged about personally using guns to kill people. Now you may think, $22 million in weapons isn't all that much, since you couldn't even buy one antique Chinese bowl with that. But it's just the latest in around $300 million in military and disaster relief assistance in a little over a year. And you could buy a lot of those antique bowls with $300 million. Well, seven of them. Plus 800 of these antique spoons. The Chinese ambassador to the Philippines, Zhao Jianhua, said the weapons deal was a sign that China is a sincere friend and sincere partner to the Philippines and will remain so forever. So why, you ask, is China so generous with its arms? Well, it actually follows a strategy the Chinese Communist Party is using around the world, buying friends with the most loving gift of all, deadly weapons. Last year, following concerns that Filipino President Duterte's war on drugs was devolving into roving death squads, killing loads of people outside the law, the United States blocked the sale of 26,000 rifles. But does the Chinese Communist Party care whether the Philippines shoots some piddly little drug dealers, or people who may or may not be drug dealers, or users, or students? No way. That's because China is vying to become Southeast Asia's primary weapons vendor. And the Chinese regime won't have any strings attached. Strings like requiring the governments they work with to follow the rule of law or whatever. The Pakistani government refuses to stop terrorists? No problem! The Chinese regime has sold their navy $4 billion worth of submarines. The U.S. condemns Myanmar for ethnic cleansing. No worries, China is Myanmar's biggest supplier of weapons, providing most of its fighter aircraft, armored vehicles, guns, and naval ships. In fact, the top three buyers of Chinese weapons are Pakistan, Bangladesh, and Myanmar. Look, the Chinese regime just sells the weapons. What other governments do with them is their own business. Guns don't kill people. Oppressive regimes kill people with Chinese guns. And it's not just in Southeast Asia. It's the Middle East, Africa, and Latin America as well. Last year, an Iraqi drone strike accidentally killed anti-ISIS fighters. It was a Chinese drone. In July, Venezuela's National Guard chief said they were saving lives by using riot control gear supplied by China when confronting anti-government protests. Let's look at that. Clearly a lot of life saving going on here. China has been selling a variety of weaponry to Caribbean and Latin American nations, too. And when it comes to drones, China wants to be part of a potentially $10 billion market. It's this kind of sell-to-anybody attitude that has put China in a position to battle it out for the world's third largest arms dealer. Of course, as you can also see from this chart, no one can come close to exporting as much weapons as the U.S. and Russia. But the U.S. would never sell weapons to countries with bad human rights records. <sighs> Maybe I should do an America Uncensored. But it's still true that China is a special kind of arms dealer. China's clients are countries either too poor to buy Western or Russian armaments, or who are subjected to arms embargoes such as Venezuela. The U.S. is at least more selective about what countries it sells to, and the stuff that's made in America is usually pretty good quality. On the other hand, most of what China sells is, let's just say, it's more on the Robert Cop side of the spectrum. Like that time China sold four brand new attack helicopters to Cameroon. And then one of them crashed shortly after delivery. Hmm, that's not good. Well, at least cheap Chinese weapons have become popular with warlords, rebels, and militias around the world. Fortunately for the buyers of Chinese weapons, the quality of made in China is getting better. 
like that CH-4 drone that experts believe was engineered using information stolen from U.S. defense contractors. Intellectual property theft? We should take it as a compliment that America's killing machines are so good, China wants them too. And as long as there are countries who don't mind pointing guns at their own citizens, the Chinese Communist Party will be there to make sure they have the guns to do it. And if no one wants to buy them, China will donate them. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time. Guns, guns, guns. Get your Chinese guns. Shaky human rights record, extrajudicial killings, no credit, no problem. The Chinese military has all the best knockoff designs, guaranteed not to fall apart some of the time. Buy your weapons from China now. Visit ChinaUncensored.tv to find out how.